Hi, in this tutorial, we will learn how to create a CSV file using the LibreOffice. So first of all, open the LibreOffice and then this kind of worksheet will open. So this is a blank worksheet and what we'll do is we would like to enter the name of the columns first and uh, then we will create few rows and then we will try to save it as a CSV file. So for example, we are having uh, the first column as SNO, which is the serial number. And then second would be um, fruit name. And third would be the quantity. So this is a very simple uh, form of a table. So one, two, three, four, five. So five values in the first column. And then mango, banana, pineapple, lychee, and then what? Melon, yeah. And then we'll be having certain quantities for each of these. Yeah, so now you have to do this, you have to go to file and then save as. And then this is the important step wherein you have to select the file type or file format. So this will be the CSV format and uh, the file name would be, for example, fruits name dot CSV if you want to type. Now save it as this or you can even save without mentioning the file extension because it will automatically be added. So click on save and then it will ask for character set field delimiter. You can keep it as the standard one and now click on OK. Now this CSV file containing these information will be stored or saved on your computer. So this is how you create a CSV file using the library office. Now we have browsed and selected the CSV file. So you can select the file from your system and then you can click on next. And then do you want to create a new table or you want to use the existing table? So in this case, we want to use the existing table. And if you choose to create a new table, then you just have to provide the name of the table and the database to which it should create a new table and import the data. So here in this case, we are just going for the existing table. So click on next and then you have to map, you know, the column names of the CSV file and the column names of the table you are already having. So we kept the names very similar. So it's very easy to map and uh, yeah, so we can just uh, map these and then we can just click on next and uh, the MySQL workbench will do its work. It will just prepare the import and and then import the data files. So click on next. Since the data was too small, it imported within seconds. And uh, five records were imported. So we, what we can do is we can just run a query to see if uh, the data has been successfully imported or not. So just select that data from the table. So the database name is examples and the table name is fruits. Yeah. And then if you run the query, you will see the data which was there in the CSV file. So this is how you import data from CSV files into your MySQL table. Very easy. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you didn't, then leave a comment so that we can improve it further. Do watch these suggested tutorials to learn even more. And do let us know what you want to learn on being skilled.